It's the start of another great afternoon here on CBBC One. It's 3.25. This is Bodger and Badger. It's a new packet. Um, uh, yeah, why? Have you found it? Hey, found it? What, what, what's up there? What, found what? Hey, Badger, what are you doing? What's going on? <laughs> the, the, the guest will be down any second. Looking for the magnifier, of course. What? Free in every packet. A Dick Bannister magnifier glass. Dick Bannister? Special agent. <laughs> found it, boy. Hey, ba oh. Oh, Badger. Oh, look at this. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, get the cleared up. Oh, wreck. Oh, what a beautiful day. Morning, Bodger. Good morning, Mr. Tucknut. I've got a wonderful feeling. Morning, Mrs. Beep, 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 beep. Good morning. Everything's going my... <laughs> It's amazing what they give away in court plates these days. Way. Mercy, look what I got, Mercy. Ooh, hey, missing Mercy. <laughs> Looks like the first assignment for Badger Bannister, very special agent. Ah, a cheese crumb. <laughs> oh, another cheese crumb. <laughs> Oh, another cheese crumb. Oh, another cheese crumb and all. And the mystery of the missing Mousy is solved. What's your Mousy? Oh, hello, Badge. Uh, it's too lumpy. What is? Mrs. Bobbin's beautiful bag. Well, let's see what's inside it, shall we? Oh, oh. oh. it's shiny. Look at all this money. It's shiny. Right. Gonna tell Special Agent Simon, uh, of course. Here's my laundry, Bodger. Okay, Mr. Tugnard. <laughs> oh, God, this is heavy. What's going on? What's up? Badger. <laughs> what are you doing underneath all Mr. Tugnard's bed cover? I'm an undercover agent. Undercover agent. Now, listen. Yeah. You know Mrs. Bobbins in room number three? Of course I know Mrs. Bobbins in room number three. Well, I have deduced... Deduced? Deduced that Mrs. Bobbins is really a bank robber. No, she's not. She is. She's not. She's got a load of money in her room. She didn't rob that from her bank. Didn't she? No, she won all that from a fruit machine on the pier. Oh. Anyway, what were you doing nosing around in Mrs. Bobbins? See her! In her room! Oh, badger! Oh, is the radio tuned in there, Badge? Not yet, Mercy. Uh, try bringing the aerial closer. Oh. What about now? No. Oh, I hope we can do it. It's almost time for my favourite radio programme. Hmm. Have to think of somewhere else. They're missing millions. Yes, it Oh, well done, Mercy. <laughs> That's all right, Badge. <laughs> Hello, this is Dick Bannister, special agent here. Take that. Hand that. Oh, Mr. Bodger, are you all right? It's no use, Lumpy. Keep yourself up. Neither. He's cornered him in the boatyard. Who has? Dick Bannister, special agent. Now tell me, where's the loot hidden? Yeah, where's the loot, Lofty? I'll never tell you. Tell me, Badge. Oh, mercy. You will into my eyes. Goodbye, Mrs. Bobbin. He's putting him in a hypnotic trance. Who? Oh, Dick Bannister, special agent. agent. Now tell me everything. Everything. <laughs> what a load of... Shh. Where is it hidden? It's hidden in... Yes. In... Yes? Yes. The fireplace at Codrington Hall. Oh. Hooray for Dick Bannister! He does it again. Hooray for Dick Bannister! <laughs> Goodbye, and thank you for calling. 
What a guy. What a hero. What a twit. Now I'm late for my banking conference. Bye, Mr. Tucknod. And I better get going to the bank. Wouldn't want any lofties getting hold of my winnings. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Bodger. Bye, Mrs. Bobbins. Oh, bother. Anything wrong, Mrs. Bobbins? I want to put this money in the bank. Very sensible. Very sensible. But it's shut. Oh. So we don't know what to do. Allow me to look after it. Hey. It'll be perfectly safe. I handle other people's money all the time. Oh, do you? I'm a bank manager. I'm at the banking conference. Oh. Well, in that case, how very kind. Think nothing of it. Goodbye, Mrs. Bobbins. Oh, see you later, Mr. Tucknot. Magnified mash. It's a dream come true. Look what I got, Badge. What? That uh, pencil with a bit of wire on it? Yeah, my new magnifying glass. Your new magnifying glass? <laughs> it's really good. Are you sure, Massey? Yeah, look. Here's a little spoon. A little spoon, yeah, yeah, yeah. And when I put it behind my magnifier... Yeah, yeah. Oh, Badge, yeah. what's over there? Oh, I don't know, Mousy. What are you looking at? What, what, Mousy? What do you mean? It gets bigger. See? Hey, what? <laughs> That's really good, Mousy. Really good. Here, who's that? <gasps> what is it, Badge? It's got Mrs. Bobbin's bag with him. <gasps> it's beginning to fit into place, Mousy. Is it, Badge? Yeah. It's not Mrs. Bobbin's who's a bank robber. It's Mr. Tucknot. Mr. Tucknot. Right then. Better find my detective notebook. <laughs> I know it is bad. Dear Massey, dear. Here it is. Ah, well done, Massey. I'm a good detective, aren't I? You certainly are, Massey. Right then. Let's put down the facts. Right. Okay. Got your pencil ready, Massey? Yes, thank you. Good, right. One. One. Mrs. Bobbins leaves with her bag of winnings to put it in the bank. Two. Two. Mr. Tucknot comes home with Mrs. Bobbin's bag. Three. Three. I deduce Mr. Tucknot robbed the bank and stole Mrs. Bobbin's money. Call that down, Mercy? Yes, Badge. One, two, three. Oh. What shall we do now? Uh, well, it's obvious, isn't it? We've got to get the money off of him and give it back to her. Ooh. Come on. <laughs> the right, um, I know, I'll lock it away, in my case. Oh, no. Oh, no. Now, the combination lock. Oh, I must remember the secret number. Listen, Mousy. The uh, first number is the time that I finish work at the bank. That's five. It's five. Five. And for the second number, I add the number of gloves in a pair. Five, add two. Seven. Third number, take away the three little pigs. Seven, Seven take away three. Uh, four. And for the last number, it's the uh, size of my shoe, that's nine. Take away the number of fingers on my right hand, multiply by the days of the week, add a dozen free-range eggs, divided by four, take away both my socks. That's it. Oh, uh, uh, what is it, Badge? I don't know, Mercy. Oh. <laughs> It'll be perfectly safe in there. Right. Book. Sun. Garden. Read. <laughs> right. <laughs> Come on, Mercy. Only we knew all them numbers. All the numbers. Uh, just have to force it open. Right. Let's get Simon's tool bag. Oh, Simon's tool bag. So it's lucky Mrs. Bobbins bumped into you, isn't it? Hmm. All with the banks being closed and everything. So, where did you stash the loot, Lefty? Well, Bodger, if it's any of your business, I put Mrs. Bobbins' winnings somewhere very safe. Oh yeah. Very safe indeed. Oh, right. <sighs> Oh, it's no use. <laughs> Hopeless. Oh, we need the combination to the lock, Mousy. What would Dick Bannister do? He'd ask him. We can't ask him, Mousy. Dick Bannister did. But Mousy, in Dick Bannister, the baddie was in an hypnotic trance, whereas Mr. Tucknot. Oh, Mr. Tucknot? Is a. is a sleep and all. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> right then. 
Uh, you are very sleepy. Uh, Mercy? Yeah? He's already asleep. Oh, yeah! Good. Here he goes. Mr. Tucknodes. Mr. Tucknodes. <laughs> what are the numbers that open the lock? It's a secret. Well, you can tell me. And me? <laughs> I can't tell you. What can't you tell me? The numbers. Which are? Five, seven, yeah. four, yeah. eight. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Come, Mercy. <laughs> What a messy! And four, and a tricky one, eight! <laughs> right. Ah. The case is now open! <laughs> this is Bobby's money. Uh, uh. Ah. The case, Mercy, is now closed. <laughs> um, what happens when he finds nothing in his briefcase bag? Oh, well, he could find nothing. Or he could find something else in there. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. There. Right, Mercy. I reckon that is one job well done. Oh, what a lovely afternoon. Oh, here she comes. Oh, how thoughtful to put it in my room. Oh, yes. I've been in banking for years. Have you? You see these hands? Yeah. Iron like grip. Oh, yeah? Once they got hold of your money... Yes? Take dynamite to get it back. Oh, sounds very safe. It is. Oh, I'll just go and clean up. Right, eh, Mr Tucknot? Dynamite, eh? Oh, hi, Reg. So that's how he does it. Just what? The bank robberies. Oh, Badger, not again. What? Mr Tucknot is not a bank robber. He is. He's a bank manager. He stole Mrs Bobbin's money. I saw it in his bag. He was just looking after it for her. And you believe that? Yes. <laughs> well, anyway, I've sorted it. Sorted what? His briefcase. Oh, no. Oh, no. What have you done, Badger? <laughs> ah, Mrs Bobbins, you're back. I'll just get your money. But, Mr Tucknot? Here it is. All safe and sound. But I've already got it. But that's impossible. I locked your money away in here, and only I have the secret numbers to the lock. Well, if I've got this here... Then what have I got in here? Well, let's find out, shall we? Five... Seven... Four... Eight... Don't but open it! Give me my case! You don't want to open it, Mr. Give the beat the case! You don't want to... Will you let me... Have it! <laughs> Mashed potato. Oh. I'm very sorry, Mr. Tucknell. Your case. <laughs> Those two cheeky bunkies are back Monday at 3.25. That mashed potato was a bit too sloppy for my life. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Anyway, guess what? It's Friday the 13th. Anything gone wrong for you today? No, everything's going brilliantly, actually. What my about you? dear, yeah, I've had a couple of dodgy things go wrong, actually. Anyway, find out what we've got on the way for you this afternoon in just a second. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>